we're out in Algonquin Park here in uh, Parkside Bay. And we thought we'll give you guys a review on uh, the CL09 uh, Lantern. Lantern yeah. It has four white light settings a uh, red, a flashing red, and a green light. And um, you twist the back to uh, to turn it on and off, which is kind of weird. So it always starts in the same memory. It'll start Always on the low, the first, yeah. right, on one lumen, and then if you twist it quickly, you could get medium, high, turbo, which is 100 lumens, which seems heck it of bright. It seems way more. It's incredibly <laughs> bright. Like. And see, if you if you pause, it'll go back, so you got to go quickly. If I just pause for two seconds and I go, it's back on the small. So you go through the white lights into red. And that's a bright red, like... This is five lumen red. Yeah, compared to a... Compared to a one lumen red. You could also do a flashing red, which is... I think it would be useful if we were like canoeing at night just to put on the, the front of the canoe or well, something. Well, think you could set that up. You could leave it on the shore on the rock so you see where your tent is at mm -hmm. or your campsite's at. You could put that even if you're riding a bike. Just tie it to the back of your yes. bike, put it on your helmet or something. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool in that sense. It's, you know... It's a great, Handy, uh, for sure. great little signal. Yeah, and then we got uh, a green light. I mean, you, red and green because you can see different colors. Obviously, when you have red and green light, if I were to look at this at night with a red light, I wouldn't understand that this is red because it's just like everything's red, right? So sometimes you need like, if you're looking at a map, you need to switch it up. I know our maps will show you guys this when it's dark. Yeah. You can see different like things between the the red and the green light I think this guy is a bit more waterproof I think it's like 10 meters or something like that I think so as well this because one actually it's all no switches or anything it still right? has the o-rings right so this one takes a 16 through 40 or it takes a CR123 for um, cold weather applications and it'll give you a bit more runtime as well these batteries come with a micro USB charged uh, port yeah so. And they have a little LED in the white up top, so when you plug it into charge, we can actually do this. Let's do this. Let's plug this into charge. Right into the battery. How crazy is that? It'll show red when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. That's so this is something I've never seen before. Yeah, this, is this actually blows my mind because now it allows you to still have that, um, like the small package. This is just literally a wall of like aluminum but still have waterproof recharging capabilities and uh all in a nice neat little package yeah. like this is the smallest thing i've seen output this amount of light and have like this many and it's a nice in. light too it's a very because like, mm -hmm. it kind of diffuses right yeah so it's i mean it's not blinding to look at this is like a really good setting at night if you need I don't know anything just it's such a low like soft this doesn't blind you yeah. looking at it right but then it gets blinding like this it gets really blinding you could one thing i i do sometimes just because i'm impatient i'll kind of screw it in like most of the way and instead of like screw and unscrew and screw to change like the modes i'll just kind of like leave it there and push and you can kind of cycle through them faster the one thing i don't like is the way the modes are set up. So, the problem with this, if I want to get to the red light at night, yeah, you gotta scroll through the. You gotta scroll through and get to this blinding light, no, and, that's a, and that, that ruins your night vision. That's also right? the same I have thing. to. You have to like cover it and kind of look through your hand. You see that's bright. Okay, now I'm on green. You know. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, um, one last thing about this, I mean. I don't bring a headlamp, as as you learned with that. So sometimes I'll do it like a like a Dragon Ball Z character, and just have the yeah. earring coming off, you know. And you can kind of see things because as you're cooking, you have hands free off the ear. But I, then again, I do have some big ears, so it works. So yeah, that actually works. It works. So tips and tricks, tips for free. That's it. So after all. So after all, this is pretty much the entire lineup like this covers one of each thing that you would ever need This is kind of like my EDC thing Slash just a tiny backup headlamp. That's so small 
and light you can literally just toss it somewhere and not worry about it incredible actually. this guy you know your lantern so you got you're at camp you gotta have light all around instead of blinding people like this everybody gets blind at the same time because yeah. <laughs> it's because it's <laughs> a lantern <laughs> so we got that um this is more of your uh focused like you know what you want to look at yeah, and you want to like look your, at it real good you're pinpointed it you know you're this is like, like you're searching for something in the night <laughs> oh. this is gonna light up the path of it ahead of you you know oh heck yeah right and this is the same this is a headlamp if you want that same power but you don't want your hands free you know up for something a headlamp yes uh i i do find myself lacking with these i said i don't bring a headlamp carlos got like the power this man can see things for days so when we're putting up the food barrel last trip these were useless first of all this died because yeah. on turbo it lasts like two hours and you kind of two hours goes quickly you know so uh i had this in the air like gandalf looking yeah. at the trees and you couldn't see working. nothing that thing you just boom target good to go yeah overall some great stuff it all does its job well if you're trying to do a job that it doesn't do well then it's not going to do it well yeah. <laughs> this is not going to be you know a, a look across the lake thing all right guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed it please consider giving us a thumbs up and leaving us a comment below to let us know and if you haven't already subscribed please do so and click on the bell to check out our latest videos as we post awesome thanks for watching take care guys cheers <laughs>